Hey everyone, it's Tyler Bronski here. Today I'm with Elvin Ramirez of the New York Mets organization, formerly and now currently with the Bridgeport Bluefish. Now Elvin, you spent a long time in the New York Mets organization, six seasons to be exact. Mm -hmm. Any coaches or players during your time with the Mets that you would say had a major impact, maybe not just on your game, but uh, in life in general? Uh, my pitching coach, and hi, Phil Regan. Okay. Yeah, he's one of the guys who helped me a lot. During my performance with the Mets, he was my pitching coach in high A, so I think he did a very good job with me, helping me yeah. get to the point. Sure. Now, 2011 for you was a really interesting year. You got selected by the Washington Nationals on Rule 5 draft. You're there with the Nationals the whole year, but because of injury, you don't get to pitch in any games in their affiliation, and then at the end of the year, you get sent back to the Mets. Uh, take me through that year for you. Did you expect the injury to held you out the whole season? And were you kind of hoping the Nationals would find a way to keep you? Or were you kind of anticipating a return to the Mets? No. In the beginning, I was, it was a really hard year for me. Because I wasn't winnable. I was doing a pretty good job. My arm, everything. So it was so disappointing when I get back to the National Spring Training. Hoping that I was going to do the same I was doing before. But wasn't like that I just get hurt so I mean it was really hard but I was trying to, I was doing my best to get stay with the Nationals because I know they give me the opportunity that was the opportunity I was waiting and I didn't want to lose it so I was doing everything that I can even with my surgery and everything to stay there but they let me go so I just keep doing what I was supposed to do working hard putting myself together to do my best Absolutely. Now, 2012 was the year you made your Major League debut. You pitched in 20 Major League games for the Mets that season. Uh, what would you say was your best individual outing in the Major Leagues? Like, kind of how you were feeling that game? I mean, it was really good because, I mean, so excited to be there because I was trying so hard to get there. Finally, I get there after having a really hard year, 2011. So, it was so... I mean, I was there. I, I mean, great experience. I was doing my best to stay there, to keep, to keep doing what I was supposed to do. So, yeah. the reason I guess. Now, during your time with the Major Leagues, you faced some pretty good uh, Major League players, just top caliber players, guys that even played in you know, All-Star games. How do you uh, attack a player, maybe like a Bryce Harper or a Ryan Braun, a Cano, All-Star players like that? What's your mindset when you go up against a guy like that? I mean, I just tr attack them with my best pitch that always being my fastball. For example, like Brad Halper, I try to go my fastball away to Simmer and working out with my change and stuff. The same like Robinson Cano, but just try to locate my fastball the best I can and then trying to finish with my breaking pitches. Now, you're a pitcher that's mainly known for your velocity. You've always had really good velocity throughout your career. Uh, something a little bit different about your delivery is you kind of have a, more of a shorter stride to the plate. You see a lot of pitchers with that long stride to the plate, but yours is pretty minimal. Uh, any reason for that? Have you always been pitching that way, or did a coach maybe teach you to throw that way? I mean, everybody told me that. Like, I, I don't lift up my leg. I don't do really long, but I just think that's the way I feel comfortable. A lot of pitching coaches I'm, uh, during my career, they're trying to change that, but I can't. Like every time I lift my leg up, I feel out of control. So I, I think the quicker my leg go to the floor, it's, the, it's better, more comfortable for me because I feel more balanced. So awesome. Now this is your first time pitching since 2015 when you were in Mexico. Uh, any reason for you to come back? and play this year in 2017, a couple years later, and to choose the Atlantic League as your platform to come back and play in? I mean, and during me I go to Mexico. I was doing good over there. So after that, I just decided to come here because I feel like I, I, I can get there. I, I think I can do it again, like go back to the big league and do my best. So besides that, I go to Winnable. With the Escogido, we get a championship there, and then I realized I gotta go to the state to look for another opportunity because I think I can do it. Yeah. So I'm here. Yeah. 
Now, when you joined this Bluefish team, you actually had to participate in a tryout, a mid-season tryout to make this team. Uh, what's the process of trying out? Or like, what do they make you showcase, really? And is it a little strange for you to have to try out for the team because you've played in the major leagues before? I mean, it was kind of a little weird, but I say I just going to do what I have to do because I am I was out, out of baseball. So whatever it takes, that's what I'm going to do to get back. So that's why I just decided, okay, this is the tryout. That's what I had to do. Okay, let's do it. So I came here and do what I have to do, and I'm here. Awesome. Final question for you, Elvin. Here in Bridgeport, we're only about an hour away from City Field, your former home with the Mets. The majority of Bluefish fans that come here are also Mets fans. Uh, is it kind of nice to be back pitching in front of you know the same fans from the tri-state area, so to speak? Yeah, it's really nice. It makes me feel kind of like... I'm still here. Like I can make it, and it's pretty much just help me work harder because I see people here that I they know me from before when I was there. Yeah. So that's make me feel okay. I gotta go there again. So. Awesome, Elvin. Well, thanks so much, and good luck with the bluefish. Eh?